Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Jaclyn Cosmetics complexion products that she just launched. I was very curious about these. I mean, it is foundation season right now. So many foundations have come out and this one looked really trendy and interesting. So I wanted to give this launch a try. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. For reference, I do have normal to dry skin, currently leaning more dry now that it is winter, but I normally can get away with prepping my skin properly as I have today with lots of moisturizer. I even used the Jaclyn Cosmetics Under Eye Primer as well, which I think is really great for hydrating my under eyes. So I ordered my products off of Ulta. Ulta, I think, takes a little bit longer to ship, but you get Ulta points and I just think it's easier. I did pick up one of the blurring tints and then the Perfecting Concealer. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the perfecting blurring tint. So the claim of this is you get sheer coverage, which isn't personally my cup of tea. Your girl needs a little bit of coverage here, but we'll give it a try. And it's supposed to smooth, blur, and enhance skin's appearance for that perfect no makeup makeup look, which is super duper trendy. So that's also why I wanted to try it. There are only 12 shades in this range, but I will say for sheer coverage products, you normally need less shades. So here is what the box looks looks like. It's just simple and white. There is one fluid ounce in this product, which is very standard. I picked up the shade light. I don't know. I was not sure at all. Honestly, I didn't do any research on the colors here. I just picked up something. Ooh, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It is a plastic. It's not like a glass or anything, but it looks really luxe. It doesn't feel luxe, but it looks luxe. I like that you can drop this on hard floor or something and it's not going to break. So this is made in Korea, which is awesome because Korean makeup is no for this type of finish on the skin. It has a 12 month shelf life. Let's try it out. So this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it has a thicker consistency, which I'm surprised by. I thought with a product like this, maybe a more watery consistency would look good, but let's see. I think this is gonna be too light on me, but we're gonna start off. Oh man, I really misjudged. I think, I don't know what I was thinking, but. I figured out why I thought light was for me and this is just a warning if you're ordering off of the swatches you see online this was the photo example for light and i thought we had similar skin tones so based on the general pictures ulta gave it looked as if the foundations in this collection ran deep i'm under the impression that they actually run light so just keep that in mind the photos on ulta definitely were not accurate because I swear I'm lighter than the girl they use in the picture. Rubbing it out with my finger and it shears out so we'll be okay. We'll, I'll be a little uh, ghostly today but it's fine and you can see we got like no coverage <laughs> with that. So let me just spread it out on my skin. I have about a pump and a half on my hand right now that I'm working out. Okay and I'm gonna use a brush for this side. This is a Ruffer 31 brush. It is my favorite brush for very light coverage foundations when I want to push some coverage out of them. Okay, so I'm definitely getting a light coverage here. It is more sheer, but with a brush at least, I'm able to force a little bit of coverage out of this. Oh my goodness. So you can certainly see all of the imperfections that my skin has still, but you can see the glow that it's laying down. It says it's supposed to be like blurring it's not blurring because of the glowiness you can absolutely see my pores <laughs> right here it's smoothed over them pretty they don't look dry by any means but it is being highlighted which i'm not knocking by the way oh this dries kind of fast oh don't let it sit on your skin because this is hard to work out okay noted we are learning let me spread out a little bit more i did another pump and i'm gonna use my fingers to do most of the work and then I'm gonna go in with my Shop Miss AOA sponge. And everything disappears when you use a sponge. So maybe don't use a sponge for this, <laughs> which I expected, but we wanted to give it a try. So I'm just gonna use a brush for this. So I think this is my preferred method of application. I think I've seen a lot of people use their fingers to apply this. <sighs> I just really don't like using fingers, period. So I think the brush is the way to go for me. Now, if you think it looks patchy on the skin, it's not. It's just because this isn't my color when it's not. I think this looked 
kind of dark online or something because I don't see why else I would purchase the light shade if it's like this. Now it looks really streaky that I've layered more over. Oh no! I don't know. <laughs> um, that does not layer well at all. Like one bit. And now I'm rubbing it off with my sponge. Um, back to the drawing board. Give me a second. I am going to take this off. We're going to try with fingers because it did not layer good at all. So hold on. <laughs> I did leave it on my forehead because my forehead honestly doesn't look bad. But where I went awry was layering it with the brush. The problem is this product dries down really, really quickly. So when I went in with that second layer, the brush I think was a little bit too rough. So it picked up the product and it just wasn't very cute. So I'm just gonna try this with my fingers. I don't love using my fingers, but I think it might be the best method of application. Maybe pushing in with a brush or a sponge, we'll see. Because like I said, it looks a little bit more... <laughs> This does not look cute, but it looks more patchy, more so because the color choice is just off. So I started off with my fingers. I can't let it end there, so we do need to work it in. Let's try a brush again. I'm gonna be really soft with it, <laughs> just to push it into the skin more than anything and get rid of the finger streak. There we go. That was definitely the best method of application for me. It looks the prettiest this way. And you can see the glow it leaves behind is very, very pretty, but I almost feel like this might work better as a base. We'll see, but it does set down. I will say that. We'll come back to this. Let's hop into the concealer. So this is the Perfecting Concealer. It has a six month shelf life, which is kind of short for a concealer. And it has this packaging. I feel like so many makeup items come in packaging similar to this. I picked up the shade Light Neutral. This is made in the USA and it is $26, a much larger shade range here because they say that this is supposed to give medium to full coverage, which is interesting that she came out with a concealer like this with such a lightweight base product. I mean, I guess I can see that this compensates for the lack of coverage that the skin tint gives But personally if I wear a skin tint I prefer a lighter coverage concealer as well So you don't see coverage and then no coverage. Let's try it out I wanted to use this over my acne, but I think it might be too light Like I said, I started off by prepping my eyes with the under eye hydrator, which I really like and Let's put this underneath. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be a little dry I'm gonna use my sponge because this is just the way I apply my concealer always and it's blending out Beautifully, that was very very easy. Okay, let's get the other eye Make sure you get right in here where a lot of the dark circles lie I'm gonna let that set while that's happening. Let's get a little bit of the more red areas covered on my face. Is it gonna be around my nose? I don't know if this is going to cover my acne because it's so light, but we'll try it. Okay, so let's take a look at the concealer. The concealer is definitely not a full coverage at all. I can see my darkness underneath. I think if I had something a little bit more peachy and deep, the darkness would be covered a little bit more, but it's about medium coverage, I would say. It looks a tad dry right here. It's definitely collecting in the texture right there. Guys, unfortunately, I'm not moved by this collection so far. I'm gonna very lightly set. Something tells me this collection needs minimal setting. I'm very familiar with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. I know Jaclyn Cosmetics has her own powder. I don't love them enough to test them for a wear test. So I'm just gonna lightly pat some in the center of my face. See if we can blur this area where the texture was showing, where we don't necessarily normally want a shine anyways. I'm gonna lightly press some underneath my eyes and then we'll get the forehead. My forehead looks pretty. What I'm feeling like is you'll probably like this product if you have perfect skin, but if you don't have perfect skin, you have textured skin, acne, pores, stuff like that, and you actually need something even, I don't know. <laughs> With everything set, honestly, that just improved my skin a lot. My under eyes are starting to look a little dry though, guys. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to use a powder bronzer blush and highlight, and then I'm gonna do my eyes, and I'll be back to show you the look. Well, actually, you know what? Let's fast forward through it so you can see what other face products I'm using.
so makeup is all done. My eyelashes are still drying, so <laughs> my skin looks okay. It's not a great skin day at all, really, but my skin does look okay. And I'm telling you right now, especially with the skin tint, I'm not really gonna recommend this. I think there are way better skin tints on the market, but if you bought it, I definitely think it's workable for sure. I don't think, you know, you need to return it. I'm gonna wear this still all day. I'm still gonna see it through. I want to see how the foundation and concealer act, but I just think this isn't worth the trouble really. It doesn't layer over itself well, and I'm not saying that this needs to add more coverage with more layers, but it literally took away some of the product, made the skin look really patchy and uneven. This does not apply very well with a sponge. I would suggest using your fingers and then using a brush to kind of smooth it out. It's, it's just kind of a pain in the butt and there's a learning curve with the application that just shouldn't be the case with such a light coverage product. Once it's down, it looks okay. I wouldn't say it's like a blurring product, but I think it looked a little bit smooth. And what I mean by that is it made my skin look quite soft and nice, but you could see because it's a glowy product your texture was slightly emphasized so it's not a perfecting product by any means i'd recommend this product for somebody with perfect skin you know that's just looking for that healthy glow something to throw on in the morning just to even everything out to make your skin look a little bit better but if you have specific skin areas that you're targeting like for me i have a lot of discoloration i have acne scars like this product is not for me so i'm not going to love this product no matter what but there are people out there who have perfect skin where i do think you actually will like this like you literally just have to be happy with one layer and out the door it doesn't feel heavy on my skin so it does feel really light i didn't set like in this area and i do have powder blush bronzer and highlight it feels a little tacky but nothing crazy like i said it feels pretty light and comfortable yeah i mean this is just not the product for me and i think application is too much of a pain in the butt now the Concealer looks decent. It's not a hydrating concealer by any means, but I'm liking this more than I'm liking the skin tint. I think this is like so far middle of the road. You know, I have concealers I like better than this, but this is not the worst concealer that I've tried. So I'm eh so far on the concealer and the skin tint. I mean, it's just not a product as for me, but I think there really are some errors in here when it comes to application. I'm going to show you what I look like on my phone so you can see the texture up close. And then I'll be back in a few hours. But before we do that, I forgot. I wanted to do an oxidation test. So this has been on my hand for like 15 minutes. Let's see. Ah, I don't really see too much oxidation going on here. It got maybe slightly a little bit more peachy, but... Not too much with the oxidation, which is pretty nice, at least in 15 minutes or so. Oh, something else I forgot to add as I'm looking at it. My skin does look like ever so slightly dry, especially right here where I powdered, which is not really a good thing considering it's a glowy product that's supposed to hydrate the skin. I don't find it to be hydrating, but it's nothing bad. Like it's not a drying product, but it certainly isn't hydrating. I think that will go away after a longer wear time. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Let me show you in front of a window. All right, so here how we're looking. Hopefully you can see a little bit more of just my skin not looking great. I feel like this didn't do my texture any favors. Like my skin looks better than having nothing on, but not too many favors are done so far, but we'll see. Hey you guys, it is about five hours into wear. My oils definitely came through. So this, remember how I said it looked a little bit more dry in this area after I powdered? That is no more, but I mean, you can see my texture. It looks terrible around my mouth. I don't know why, it just doesn't look good, but I do like the glow on my forehead. I like the way that this has been acting on my forehead, but in this area, it just, it doesn't look the best, you know? I can see it looks like it's breaking up around my mouth not terribly so like normally some foundations will break up around my nose it's lasting very well there honestly i think it i don't want to say it looks better with wear but it looks better than i thought that it was going to be at five hours in i'm not mad at it at all even though i'm pointing to this area it doesn't look that bad this area looks bad but right here i don't mind it at all i think it looks kind of good i mean not mad now 
my mascara smudge, so ignore that, but I don't want to disrupt the concealer. I feel like over time the concealer lost like a little bit of coverage and it looks a little dry right in the fine lines of my eyes, but again, it doesn't look terrible at all. It looks fine, so. Right now we're at a solid, like it looks okay. It really does. I look a little extra shiny because I don't have the rest of my studio lights up. I just have my ring light directly pointing at my face, but it looks better than I thought it would, so <laughs> that's good. I guess. Okay guys, so it's officially been eight hours since I've been wearing this foundation. Side note, the purple essence slash princess smudges like crazy, don't buy it. <laughs> Anyways, other than the smudging, I think we, um, we've grown tired of this foundation. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible. Like I said, it looks okay, but neither product really are something that I recommend or that you have to run out to get. I think there is a target audience for this, and I'm not in that target <laughs> at all. Y you kind of have to have really nice skin to begin with to be able to make this work and are just looking for an extra shot of glow, maybe a little bit more evening. Like this will make your skin look better if applied right. And that also is a problem that I believe makes it not worth it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to apply. I feel like it sits down a little too fast and you can't layer it. If you add more than one layer, the makeup pulls itself off. It just doesn't look as good. You you have to literally like rub it all over your face and go. And for some people that's practical. For most people, I don't think that's practical though. Yeah, I mean, I just don't really love the way it looks on my skin. I'm interested to try this as like a makeup base or mixing it in with foundation. I think could be interesting, but on its own, it's a no-go for me. But I mean, take a closer look. Like <laughs> after a full day, it really didn't wear that bad. You know how sometimes foundation can just wear down in not a pretty way? I think it wore down decent. Like I said, my mouth, it's all destroyed. It doesn't look good. It's rubbed off on my nose. I didn't even wear a mask today. But if you take a step back, it's not terrible. The concealer, it's starting to get into the lower fine lines here. Again, no pay attention to the smudgy mascara. I'm gonna throw this out. It's not good. A little bit of a drying concealer, but not bad. I think it's one that I'm still going to continue to use. It's not worth getting rid of. Definitely keeping this in my collection, but not good enough to buy it when I run out. So, you know, Jacqueline Cosmetics has some great things in her line, but these for me just weren't cutting it really. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. I want to see how this will look when I set it over to like retouch it because... I know a lot of us do that and we'll have our powder in our purse. So let's see if this can handle a little retouch. And like I said, I actually though have been loving how my forehead's been looking all day because my forehead is the area that doesn't have any zits right now. Didn't need too much correction or anything. So my perfect forehead liked this, but th the rest of the problem areas did not like this. Oh, it's set okay. Let me get a closer look. And I'm just using that Makeup Forever powder again. I mean, it made it... The areas that looked bad, the powder made it look worse, but it definitely did tone down the shine. Like, it looks good on my forehead, so I think you can set this with some powder, but if there are any areas that have broken down, the powder kind of emphasizes that it broken down. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on this foundation and concealer. Did you try these out? What do you think? Do you like them? Am I the only one that doesn't like them? I want to hear your thoughts, and... It's a little late, I should have said this in the beginning, but as a reviewer, it's always a little bit hard to <laughs> review these celebrity and influencer makeup brands because people get a little hurt when their favorite influencer's products don't get glowing reviews, but I don't care who makes the products. If they're good, they're good. If they're not, they're not, and that's that. So, no shade, no tea to the people creating the products. I actually like Jacqueline, and I'll watch her from time to time, and I think she's very talented with makeup, and I think her brand, overall has produced some really great quality products but for me these aren't my favorite in her line so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one